Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go into our options to first find out what kind of version of a BlackBerry do we have. If you look at the third line down, keep that as a mental note, 4 dot whatever. So now that we've got uh, the mental note down, we're going to go ahead and launch the browser and click on go to and then go to hipvoice.com forward slash M, M standing for mobile. Once we've done loading the hipvoice.com forward slash M, we're going to then go ahead and click on the download button. So click on the download button. After we're done clicking on the download button, you will then select your appropriate operating system that you uh, memorized. So in this case, I'm going to click on 4.7 because that's what it was called for in my system. I'm going to go ahead and click on the download link and it will go ahead and download the entire program. It'll take a few seconds. Once you're done downloading, I'm going to click on OK and then I'm going to go back into my options. Now make sure you don't click on run. Once I'm done clicking my options, I'm going to go ahead and then click on the screen keyboard settings. And then I'm going to scroll about halfway down until I see the left side convenience key opens. And then I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to select hip voice. You hit your BlackBerry menu and then you go ahead and click on save. Now at this point, I'm just going to click on the left side convenience key and it will launch hip voice. You can also use your right side convenience key if you like as well. But I usually like to use the left side. So now that hip voice is loading, we'll then go into our end user license agreement screen. Uh, once we're done with that, you don't have to scroll all the way down. Just hit the BlackBerry menu and click on Accept. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on uh, Beep When Before PTT. Uh, I like to have that PTT um, thing, uh, the voice. And then uh, I'm going to click on Set PTT Key. At this point, you can type in your username and password and then click on Sign In. But if you are a T-Mobile user or a... Um, user with Rogers Communications, you're going to have to set your APN. So kind of set it in that sense. You're going to go up to the APN name and type in epc.tmobile.com. That's for T-Mobile users. And if you're with uh, Rogers Communications in Canada, you will type in internet.com. If you have any other car uh, carrier, you do not need to do this. I repeat, you do not need to do this. Only for T-Mobile and uh, Rogers in North America. So at this point, uh, if you do need to, just go ahead and set those settings up into the APN options. Uh, I'm going to click on Save, Save, and Save. And now I'm going to log in as Demo and the number one. So I'm going to scroll up and click on that with my trackball and the Demo number one. And then I'm going to hit Enter on my keyboard. I'm going to type in my password and hit Enter. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on Auto Login and then Sign In. It'll take about a second or two to sign in. Once you're done signing in, I then click on whoever I want to talk to and hit my push to talk key. You'll see at the bottom right hand corner, the out and in, which is your data counter, will then uh, switch over to your PTT. You could also PTT to groups as well as individuals, or you could PTT to your history. So you could see those green dots will show you um, if the message was delivered successfully, and you could also replay those messages by clicking on the PTT button. Uh, the other thing is that you have multitasking. So if you go into another screen, you hit your PTT button, and then all of a sudden you're back into hip voice. Very easy, very intuitive. Um, all you have to do is just type in, um, click, and, and go to it. If you want to exit out of hip voice, you hit the letter X on the keyboard. Uh, and then, again, you just hit the left side convenience key, and it will automatically log you into hip voice. You leave hip voice running in the background. Very